let's play Spot the Cordy. This is really like, I don't know, after a while it's just, you sense them. There's no way you can see some of these. Just, 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 I mean, what? Hey everyone, Justin Hobb here, Forge to Foods. We got a whole episode today on cordyceps hunting. Uh, it's the season right now in Pennsylvania, just starting. So I know a lot of us out there, a lot of foragers at least, are out there excited to find some. So this video is going to be good to uh, help some of them people that are new at it identify what to look for, and even some people that are more versed in it, how to harvest not only the cordyceps but the mycelia itself. Uh, people don't know, but um, a lot of work goes into getting cordyceps from the ground on a bug, growing on rice here in a jar like this. So what we're about to see right now is step one. Literally, got to find the cordyceps. Got to find some new genetic material to clone or to get the spores from to start mating and producing new uh, commercial strains. Check this out. How y'all doing? Justin. I'm a uh, cordyceps hunting. It's mid to late July. That's wrong. It's mid to late August. Almost my birthday. Coming up on August 31st. I want to show you guys um, something that I've realized I failed to show in the past, and that's how to harvest a cordyceps. It's not your normal mushroom. Um, you're going to see it and run over and just want to pick it. Um, it's very exciting to find. Um, they are not. The easiest things to find. I am very fortunate to have a spot that's very prevalent in them. Uh, but you really want to avoid that urge to run over and just grab it out of the ground. Um, one of the most beneficial things of this mushroom is its large mycelial base. That's easily extractable. A lot of mushrooms, you can see that mycelia, but you never really get a chance to actually get it and pick it out without at least a lot of dirt. So this mushroom requires a little bit more um, finesse, a little more time and skill and extraction, and I'm looking forward to show you that right now. All right, guys. So here we have a cordyceps. You can see he's grown along this log here. Um, that's not uncommon but they do grow in the middle of the ground as well which will make them a little harder to extract um, and i'll show you why so first thing you're going to do is pull the leaves out from around the mushroom okay now we have it nicely and exposed um, with this log here we can just pick it up move to the side a little that allow us to get really into that mushroom here so what I do is I pinch and put my finger in about an inch away from it. I'm going to try and dig up the dirt on top of it. Oh, you can see he's loose now. And now this is a matter of just making sure you get that specimen that it's growing off of. Now this mycelia, he's been eaten out pretty hard. So the head just popped off with the mushroom. So I'm going to leave that mycelia to kind of turn back to nature. He's a little bit on the more mature side. So that gives you a good example of how to really get in there and pull out not just the mushroom but the mycelial based pupa as well. A little cleaning of the tip. He's ready for the bag. At the stop and set up shop here down in southern Pennsylvania. We're uh, cordyceps hunting today to start maybe some cauliflowers and cordyceps, uh, cordyceps on the brain here, cauliflowers and chanterelles later on, but me oh my, I literally had to set up shop at this spot, I pulled some out of here, 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 
and here, over there. Stop to eat a sandwich, get a drink, analyze my life. Cause I got more to pick back here. There's one. See the distance. Another one. I've just kind of been scoping this side so far. You can see how far I'm off from that tree line. Not not too far. I have all of this. Yet to look through. Ooh, what a day. All right, this is a, uh, this here is gonna be round two of trying to get this out with host intact. I'm demonstrating how to properly harvest these cordyceps. Like I was saying, you don't wanna run up and just pick them out. Uh, this is a real nice colorful triple. And I'm gonna assume is off one specimen. So the first thing we're gonna do is just clear off the leaves around the top. And now I'm going to pinch the ground and just kind of move that off. From one side and then from the other side, do the same thing. You'll see how the grass kind of or the dirt layer kind of pulls out from between. There's a lot of vines in there or not vines, but roots that are holding that specimen down away from the fruits. So. We just separate some of those roots, and you'll see. There she is. So pull a couple of these roots and dirt off of it, the loose pieces. You'll see the mycelia grows out away from the pupa for a second. And then starts fruiting. Always have a little brush handy. Knocked off that fruit. Not a bad thing that happens. And there you go. I just pinched the tip of that fruit and knocked off. about took about 10 steps maybe 15 just a little further up the hill I finally got out of that hole I was probably about 15 cordyceps within 10 feet of each other and here I am again these guys are not easy to see Always fun to add to the challenge. Oh, let's see if I can zoom in for you on this one. Oh, wrong button. That's just on a quick glance. So, I don't know. Might set up shop. See how uh, long this takes. You pull them out. You brush them off. If the specimen looks good, you put it in an aluminum slip. Similar to these, leaving the one end open, and uh, go to town. This is Clavinopolis. You can see another one here, and some more here. Clavinopolis, uh, fairy spindle quartz. Ah, no, got minerals on the brain now. Fairy spindle mushrooms are what they're nicknamed uh they're a look-alike to a cordyceps which we can see present right here very close oh, there's another one down there so make sure you're picking something with a host that clavinopolis grows off of uh, pretty much rotted uh, 
rotted wood underneath the ground where these guys are going to be growing on a pupa or a bug of sorts. Oh, there's so many cordyceps up in here. All right, back to work I go.